y'all how y'all doing it's time for another hair related video now with this video i'm gonna show you how i go from dull harsh thirsty looking hair hair <laughs> to a banging twist out and the products i'm going to be using are very simple my hair is dry um it's not defined it, it looks a mess so i'm going to be using the alpha g's protein vitamin leave-in conditioner this is going to be my leave-in i'm going to also be using the moisture miracle hydrate and strengthen leave-in conditioner by african pride along with the aunt jackie's curl la la because i with these combined i'm looking for a banging um definition okay guys i'm going to be doing i think i kind of want to do a flat twist out but i'm not sure we're gonna check and see how because with flat twist your hair has to be pretty much good and detangled and i don't think i got it just raggedy ass um rat tail comb and i'm too lazy to go back there and get my real comb so it is what it is okay so let me go ahead and section my hair off to make this whole thing easier y'all you can't even see that in the back all right, you guys, so I am still sectioning my hair off and then applying the leave-in spray along with the styling products and then I'm sealing in with my hair oil mixture. Now, this video, honestly, is a lesson learned in how important it is to properly detangle your hair during wash day. I have not really detangled my hair in about two months, meaning that I jump in the shower, I shampoo my hair, I condition my hair, I even deep condition. Um, and I take a comb and I comb through my hair and thinking that that's going to properly detangle all of this 4B, 4C category hair. That's not going to happen. So this week, I'm going to have to sit down and probably spend a good minimum two hours to finger detangle, finger detangle, excuse me, and then use a couple of different combs to properly detangle my hair. so I'm just about done with this it took me quite a while because again my hair is not detangled properly and so I, I'm even as you saw there previously I'm getting a little bit of shedded hair because again I need to go through and do what I'm supposed to do I know what I'm supposed to do I've been natural for 11 12 years so I know what I need to do to properly care for my hair another thing that's on my to-do list within the next month or so is to properly have my hair trimmed um, I definitely need to do that now you guys hear me out I'm thinking about switching up things a bit here only because with it being now, I've been in Texas for two years. I am strongly considering stretching my hair using heat every wash day only because I'm finding that I'm getting a lot more shrinkage with my hair and yeah, I'm okay with it, but uh, I I'm just on the fence. I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. So anyway, just about done here, you guys um, finishing up with my hair. All right, you guys, it's time for me to take down my, y'all, my eyes are so big. <laughs> time to take down my twists. I'm going to have to learn how to do my makeup a little bit differently now that I'm not wearing, well, when I wear contacts, because since I've been wearing glasses, since I was dang on seven years old, you can see my under eye bags and the indention work. So I'm going to have to figure out how to do that, girl. All right. So my hair has been in these twists for four days. I'm not putting any more, more oil on my hair because I feel like I don't need any more. So I'm gonna unravel once. Um, I think my hair is gonna be a little frizzy only because you see that, you can see the frizziness even before. Um, I added oil 
every two days, meaning so at least twice I've added oil. I think the definition is gonna be on point, but I don't know. My hair feels dirty and it looks dirty and it's not dirty because it's fairly, it's less than six days old. So I don't know what's going on with my hair, y'all. Um, so let's hush up and unravel. about done with um separating and unraveling my hair and i did do a little bit more than i thought i would but i always do this baby i always unravel to the gods because i'm looking for big hair i love big hair y'all that's my signature big curly hair it is what it is so continuing to do this but yeah like i said three or four times now at this point gotta really take the time to properly detangle my hair i'm not sure if i want to record that or not because i've done something before um but i'm going to be using um apple cider vinegar along with coconut uh conditioner by swab but i will be please be on the lookout i do have all of those comparison videos coming up, meaning that I have the comparison for the um, cholesterols. I have another one coming up with the Queen Helen versus the African Pride Tea Tree. And I have another comparison when it comes to actual styling products. Um, I have the Cantu, like a jelly twist and gel, and the Aunt Jackets, which I use in this particular video. So let me hush up for you guys and continue to fluff my hair till I get the desired look that I'm looking for, okay? All right, y'all, so this is it. I fluffed up a little bit more. I went to the bathroom. I don't even know what the back is looking like. So this is what the definition is. I'm okay with this. This is a cute style. So don't, the back, ugh, don't, don't judge me. Yeah, so definitely would not be maintaining this, but it'll last um, for another two or three days. But like I said, I need to take the time to properly detangle my hair. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you as always to all of my subscribers. Take care. Bye.